actually went to a um, one room school, um, the country school. I, my talking about the legacy and, and relating it back to that, my great grandfather and grandfather built the, the school. Um, my dad uh, graduated from the school and then my mom taught there. And of uh, the six siblings, in, or I have five siblings, there were six of us all together. I'm the only one that didn't graduate from, uh, it's called House Dwight School. And so I went first and second grade. I had um, students grades one through eight. And the first year I went, uh, we had six students. And then uh, the last year in my second grade, we went to um, down to four students, grades one through eight. And uh, Mrs. Kraft was my teacher. And uh, during that time, we have the bookmobile and we still have a bookmobile that comes around, but the bookmobile would come out. And um, my first grade, I wrote 382 book reports and they actually had to bring like extra books out to me because like I had read all the books in the bookmobile. <laughs> so um, that's kind of a lot of people don't know that about me. Well, that, that would be, that would be fun though. I think, you know, going to, you know, the, the old fashioned quote unquote schools, you know, with just the one room schoolhouse. I think it'd be fun. Yep. The only thing scary about it was, is back um, then and, um, and part of the reason they closed it down, well, part of lack of kids, but um, they had, um, they actually would start a fire in the bottom of the pits of the, that was their sewer. That's how they took care of the, the toilets. And so it was attached to like the, um, entrance of the the school but it was like a, like an outhouse because it was um, it had this long pit that went down and then they actually just burned <laughs> that was their sewer system because there was no sewer out there and so my mom's biggest fear was is that I was going to fall in the toilet because <laughs> I was so little <laughs> that was her biggest fear um, <laughs> so um, and then we I we packed a lunch we had a you know, kind of a little house on the prairie. We had a lunch every day that we, we packed, my dad packed it for me because my mom worked in the school systems. And uh, so my dad usually packed lunch for us. And then eventually we, we went to town school and we actually got to have like a lunch room. That was so exciting for me. <laughs> it was actually a cook that cooked our lunch. <laughs> oh. that's, that's good stuff. Sounds, sounds fun. <clears throat> well, Jolene, uh, I appreciate you taking time uh, this afternoon to, to be with us. And I, I Want to give uh, the listeners some information as far as how to get a hold of you, you know, whether it be, you know, websites, emails, what have you. So, what are good the best ways for them to reach out and and be able to touch base with you and and be able to contact you personally? Well, there is a free group on Facebook and it's called Legacy Calling, and I'll make sure we get the link to you so that you can, um, if you have any print, that they can see it as well. But, um, and I will make sure I drop uh, the free membership site to you, to all of you. I, I encourage you guys to take part in that um, uh, estate planning, at least get in there and, and get going with it and looking at, see what you can do to leave your legacy because, um, you know, that simple task of just going through your estate plan and getting a will or a, um, a trust in place um, can make a huge difference on the legacy that you leave, not only your children, but your grandchildren and your great grandchildren. So uh, legacy or legacy calling uh, on Facebook would be the easiest way. Um, and then I will drop you guys the link. Okay. Very good. And uh, Jodine, I, I appreciate again, your time being here this afternoon. It's been a pleasure and a honor to be able to sit down with you and you know, get to know you a little bit better and uh, the different views that you, that you have on legacy and what that means to people, because it is such a valuable thing and, and people should be thinking about it. You know, if not daily, at least regularly, they should think about it. <laughs> exactly. And, you know, like I say, take more time than what you're planning your summer vacation and uh, make sure that you do have a life plan and, and a goal of, you know, what you want to leave. And, and even, you know, I understand we all, not every one of us are going to make the millions and we're not all going to have, you know, millions and millions of dollars to leave for our grandchildren. Um, but you can still make an impact and you can still leave a legacy by, um, you know, speaking into them and, and, you know, even something as simple nowadays, everybody's got a cell phone. I don't, I mean, even if you're 
on social service <laughs> and welfare. Um, those people, sometimes they had better phones than I did. <laughs> but there's no excuse for you not to have, you know, some type of video of, and, and leave, you know, just, just speak mm -hmm. into people. And even if it's just an audio, um, probably one of the, the most treasured thing that I have right now is um, there was a guy that was doing some research on um, the history in, in, in this area. And they knew that my mom was very strong on, on you know, everything that went on here. And so he interviewed her um, when he was in the nursing home and he came by and um, dropped the link. So I have, a, I have a, about a four hour conversation all together. He did it a couple of different times of this guy just interviewing my mom and speaking into her, um, you know, and, and sh her giving him the information of all the things that went on. Um, and that's probably, you know, that's the biggest treasure, even though that my mom and dad, you know, they were fortunate enough to leave me some land. Um, I could care less about the land because I've got that audio and I can hear her voice and, uh, you know, yeah. really still feel close to her. So. Yeah, that's special. <clears throat> Very special. Well, I, I do appreciate your time. And uh, like I, I do enjoy telling all of my friends that come on the program, I will see you around the bin, my friend. I appreciate it. Thank you very much and have a great day and go leave a legacy. Thank you. You too. All right. You've been listening to Legacy Cast. Thank you for joining us today and be sure to come back next time as we speak with more top influencers, industry experts, and business owners from around the world.